Hola clase. Hoy hablamos de los verbos parecidos a gustar, o verbs like gustar. ¿Qué significan? Gustar, to please or to like. Encantar, to delight or to love. Faltar, to lack or to be missing. Fascinar, to fascinate. Importar, to matter. Interesar, to interest. Molestar, to bother. Aburrir, to bore. Parecer, to seem. And quedar, to fit. These are all the verbs that follow the same rules as gustar. Las reglas. What are the rules? There are only two possible verb forms that can be used for all of these verbs. The el, ella, usted form is used when the object followed by the verb is a singular noun or an infinitive verb. The ellos, ellas, ustedes for is used when the object following the verb is a plural noun. Notice that you have to be paying attention to what the object is that is following the verb. These verbs must also take an indirect object pronoun, or IDOP, in order to identify the person who is involved with the action. All of that will make more sense in just a second. So, what are our IDOPs, indirect object pronouns, or los pronombres de complemento indirecto? A mí, me, a ti, te, a él, a ella, a usted, le, a nosotros, nos, a vosotros, os, a ellos, a ellas, a ustedes, les. So your IDAPs, or indirect object pronouns, are me, te, le, nos, os, les. Practiquemos un poquito. Alright, you have two blanks. Now, we are talking about a Alicia as your subject. A Alicia le molestan los musicales. Molestan is plural because the object following it is also plural, los musicales. Le is in agreement with Alicia. Número dos. A mí me interesa la obra de teatro. Interesa is singular because la obra de teatro is singular. A los chicos les encanta la taquería. Encanta is singular because la taquería is singular. Cuatro. A nosotros nos importan las clases de español. Importan is plural because las clases are plural. Are you interested in the music? Now you have to think of this a little bit backwards in Spanish. ¿Te interesa la música? Does the music interest you? Is what that is saying. We are missing a glove. A nosotros nos falta el guante. My friend is fascinated by the hockey players. Or the hockey players fascinate my friend, are fascinating to my friend. A mi amigo le fascinan los jugadores de hockey. Fascinan is plural because los jugadores is plural. The score matters to me. A mí me importa el tanto. Okay, go ahead and pause the video. I want you to do these practice problems on your own and then replay the video to check your answers. Remember, your verb like gustar agrees with the object that follows the verb. So if it is singular or an infinitive, faltar, importar, quedar, etc. will all be singular. If the object that follows is plural, then that verb will be plural. Okay, here we go. Nosotros falta la gorra. You may also write it, a nosotros nos falta la gorra. A mis padres les importan las notas. A ti te quedan bien los zapatos. 
A ti y a mí nos molestan los guantes. Notice, a ti y a mí es la forma nosotros. So we chose nos as our IDAP. And molestan is plural because los guantes are plural. Número 5. ¿A ustedes les fascina el arte? 6. ¿A Raquel le aburren las clases? A mí me interesan el hockey y el fútbol. Notice in this one, interesan is plural, and that is because we are talking about two objects. Two objects were listed after that verb. That is why interesan is plural. A David y a Nacho les encantan los legumbres. ¿Qué te gusta o qué te gustan? Me gusta el tenis. Me gustan los deportes. Answers will vary for these responses. Número dos. ¿Qué te encanta? ¿Qué te encantan? Me encanta el helado. Me encantan las fiestas. It doesn't matter what you respond with as long as if the object following the verb is singular, your verb is in the singular form. And if your object following the verb is plural, your verb is in the plural form. ¿Qué te aburre? Me aburre la clase de inglés. Me aburren los exámenes. ¿Qué te interesan? Me interesa el español. Me interesan los libros. ¿Qué te molesta o molestan? Me molesta la tarea. Me molestan los estudiantes perezosos. ¿Y qué te importa o qué te importan? Me importa mi familia. Me importan mis estudiantes. Muy bien hecho, clase. Please ask if you have any questions. Hasta mañana.